or equipment designed to protect the body from injury or infection. It's very important. So while you put on these different PPEs or the different personal protective equipment, you carry out your job safely. So safety refers to as a condition of being protected from harm. The Washington McCook Enterprises. Safety first. Safety first. Safety should be our. That's the reason why I came up with the topic so that we will discuss together, share ideas, so we get to improve at the way we are doing our electrical installation work on site so that we should be safe at all times. So today's lesson is going to focus on electrical safety training. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel or probably follow, make sure to do that before we proceed with the lesson. Okay, today, like I said, we are going to be discussing on electrical safety training. So we dive straight to understanding what is safety. So safety refers to as a condition of being protected from harm. So when you protect yourself from harm, you safely carry out different activities without making sure that you injure yourself from the different accidents that can occur. So this is all about understanding what is safety so that we protect ourselves while working on site. So to be safe is to prevent your, both yourself and the property from electrical hazard as described, described from the previous lesson which I did, which is we have different electrical hazards such as short circuit, fall at height, um, electrical bonds as a result of air flash or air blast and then we also have um, fall at height I think I mentioned that already and electrocution as well so we get to understand that so that we protect ourselves while we are working in the field so the next point will be PPEs which is very important which is personal protective equipment so I've heard this all the time some of the time I heard this while working on site we have so many electricians or probably apprentices working on site they'll be asking what is PPE what is PPE so we need to understand what is PPE so PPE is personal protective equipment these are the different um, things that we have to put in place while we are carrying out different activities on site which is very important and mandatory for our safety or for our personal safety. That's why you hear the say PPE, which is personal protective equipment. So these are the things which are personal to you, which you have to put on to make sure that you safeguard yourself from different dangers or different accidents that might or occur on site, which is very important. So we have PPE, which is refers to as pro protective clothing, helmet, goggles, or other garments or equipment designed to protect the body from injury or infection is very important so while you put on these different PPEs or the different personal protective equipment you carry out your job safely without endangering yourself and then also we need to also understand that we have different PPEs with regards to the different activities that we are carrying out on site perhaps you're working at height we have a different PPEs or additional PPEs that you have to put on. Like we mentioned, we said um, we, we are talking of helmet, goggles, safety shoes. We have um, coveralls. So after putting all that, these are all the PPEs or personal protective equipment. And when we are working, at night, we have to make sure that we put on safety harness. Or perhaps you're working in a confined space. We have different types of PPEs which you have to put on before carrying out these different set of activities. So you have to understand all that while working on site. The hazard addressed by protective equipment includes physical, electrical, and heat. So these are the different hazards which might result or uh, come as a result of physical, electrical, or heat. So we have different types of personal protective equipment, like I did mention already, which we have safety goggles, we have um, air plugs, we have safety helmets, we have safety jackets, we have um, types. So that while you can feel maybe in the or that persons, different persons that are working far from you will be able to identify that we have someone working in this area. And then we also have safety gloves, which we have to put on at all time while working in the field. And again, 
while you're working on a live panel, you have separate different groups that you must put on while you're working on an electrical live panel. We will talk as well on working at height. So work at height means work in any place where if precaution is not taken, a person can fall. This is very important. And then also safety belt or safety harness should be worn at all times when the height is above 1.8 meters and above. And then also, like I, I made mention already, when you're working on height, you have to make sure that you check as per the site condition, what is the minimum height or the minimum required height that while you exceed this height, you must put on a safety harness or a safety belt while you're working at that height, which is recommended by the site or the project where you're working. So we have different types of ladders. We have different types of scaffolds. So we have to make sure that we use the recommended scaffold or the recommended ladder in the different projects that we are working on. This is very important. Until then, you're watching Macobe Enterprises.